Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Gingrich and I'm the Program Director for the Breast Imaging Fellowship Program. We're affiliated with the University of Illinois College of Medicine in Peoria and OSF St. Francis Medical Center. And both of those facilities are located about 10 to 12 miles from this building. You're going to spend most of your time right here in this building on the second floor, which houses the OSF Center for Breast Health. We also have three satellite screening sites. You won't really be going to those um, except for the one at the main campus hospital, OSF St. Francis Medical Center. I'm going to welcome you to our second floor breast center. This is the area where you're going to be spending the majority of your time as a breast imaging fellow. Our screening sites are also located away from our facility. We have three outlying screening sites and um, all the screens are sent here. Uh, so as a fellow, you're very busy at this facility. We read about 22,000 screens and perform over 9,000 diagnostic exams, 6,000 ultrasound exams, and we uh, uh, do uh, 2,500 or so procedures. Uh, very, very busy facility. In our reading room, we have a common area where we all work, and it's in close proximity to our technologists so they can readily interact with all of us. So this is a, our reading area where all of our physicians, we have residents, uh, and if you turn around, there's another physician. So it's just a common area, and it a, allows a very collegial environment where we can interact, we can discuss cases. Our fellow actually will be sitting here, so we have our fellow. If you just want to say hi, Chris. Hi. So um, this is a, a corner where the resident and the fellow can also interact. And as a fellow or a resident, they always are given first dibs at any of the cases that come into the room. So we want them to um, get involved with all the cases, as many as possible. Um, the technologists will bring them cases, and when a procedure comes up, they have the opportunity to also do procedures. If we step in here, this is our diagnostic hallway. So we have um, a very busy corridor. We actually have just two diagnostic rooms, but each diagnostic room feeds several patients. So. Um, at our program, you're going to definitely learn the, how to, to work with a very efficient system where we can bring patients in and use our equipment efficiently. Our technologists, when they have a patient ready for a case, will come right into our reading room and hand off that case to our fellow. We have three dedicated ultrasound rooms, all equipped with uh, Philips ultrasound. As a fellow, you're going to be doing your own ultrasounds, and we're going to teach you how to become a really expert sonographer. Our mammography technologists assist us with all of our biopsies, and they also assist us with our ultrasounds, but it's the physicians that actually do the ultrasounds at our program, which really, I think, adds to your experience here. We have a busy high-risk um, breast cancer screening program, and with that high-risk program, we have an automated breast ultrasound system, which we're displaying right here. So uh, any patient who comes in that has dense breast tissue has an opportunity to have an automated breast ultrasound scan. Uh, patients who cannot undergo breast MRI who are at high risk for breast cancer can also opt to have an automated breast ultrasound scan. We have a prone and upright stereotactic biopsy systems all equipped with the Affirm um, biopsy systems and a Brevera biopsy equipment. We have a dedicated group of technologists that assist the fellows and the other physicians in doing the stereotactic core biopsies. And this is really valuable because they really uh, add a very good patient experience when our patients come in. And as a fellow, you're going to really become an expert at troubleshooting and doing all sorts of different biopsies under different scenarios, both prone and upright. So this is our dedicated breast MRI scanner. It's a 1.5 Tesla magnet with a wide bore, and we have a Sentinel biopsy table. So a um, very busy MRI uh, schedule that we have. We do MRIs almost every day. We total approximately 500 breast MRI exams yearly and perform over 150 MRI guided biopsies. So as a fellow, you're going to get really great experience with MRI. Most of our patients that are diagnosed with breast cancer go and have a breast MRI. We also have a very busy high-risk breast cancer screening program and 
many of those patients are also having the MRI. So right now we have attached our Sentinel biopsy table. We have a dedicated group of MRI technologists, which makes our program really, really beneficial. Um, as a fellow, you're going to work very closely with the technologists uh, setting up patients for biopsies. You'll also have the opportunity to sit with our technologists during your fellowship and learn how they set up for an, a breast MRI. So many of our fellows will actually come out here and spend a nice noon hour having their lunch. Don't necessarily get a full hour, but when they do have a little bit of town time, it's a nice relaxing area to come out. We also have a lot of patients that come out to the Serenity Garden and uh, just relax. The OSF Center for Breast Health actually has a lot of rich history. It was formerly known as the Susan G. Komen Breast Center. And Susan G. Komen was actually born right here in Peoria. And at age 33, back in 1977, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And three years later, she died to breast cancer. And her sister, Nancy Brinkman, then started the Komen Foundation. Our department works seamlessly with a multidisciplinary team of breast specialists, including breast surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, reconstructive surgeons, and other support services throughout Peoria. And as a fellow, you'll have an opportunity to shadow many of these specialists in our multidisciplinary team at their offices, operating room, pathology department. Specialists also come here at our breast center and spend time at our comprehensive breast clinic, which is held one to two times a month.